Yo, what is up you guys? Zumi Fiasco here and I have early access to the Season 5 Week 3 challenges and I'm going to be showing you how to complete them all with this fast, easy guide. Let's get straight into it. Alright everyone, so to start off this guide, we are going to be getting into the free challenges first. Starting at challenge number 1, deal damage to opponents in a single match and you have to deal 500 damage total. This is kind of hard, it can be really difficult, but all you really need to do is go into a 50v50 or a limited time game mode to complete this challenge easily. Now if you want to, you can go ahead and go into squads, or you can go into solos or duos, whatever your preference may be, as long as you can deal 500 damage total to your opponents. Keep in mind, everyone's health bar is 100 and everyone's full shield is 100, so on average, each elimination will be about 150 damage, or even 200 if you completely shoot the opponent by yourself and they have full shields and full health and you eliminate them by yourself. As I said though, 50 versus 50 and limited time modes like teams of 20 will definitely be the best way to go for this challenge. Challenge number two in week three is use a launch pad. Now this can be tricky, but honestly it's not that bad either. All you need to do is go into once again a limited time mode where these things spawn like crazy. And a lot of times in 50 versus 50, launch pads will already be placed for you to jump on. So you don't even have to put them down yourselves or find one. You can just find one by running around. Also this week, just a side note, they have increased the spawn rate of launch pads and supply drops. So if you see a supply drop, make sure you go for it because your chances of getting one are pretty high. Now for the last free challenge, Challenge number three overall, and this week's treasure, is follow the treasure map found in Flush Factory. All you guys need to do is head to this location I'm showing you right now. Here's the map off to the side just in case you guys want to see it for yourselves and see what it looks like. But you don't need to actually go to Flush Factory. All you need to do to complete this challenge is go to this location here, pick up the Battle Star, and then once you pick it up, make sure you get eliminated by eliminating yourself, getting shot, or other means, just make sure you do not leave the game through the pause menu because that will cancel the challenge and you won't complete it. Now moving on to challenge number 4 and this week's first battle pass challenge, search chest and fatal fields. I have a little map for you guys on screen right now showing where all of the possible chests spawn are, so it should be rather easy for you guys to find at least one or two per game. I would suggest landing on the outer parts of fatal fields just so you can guarantee yourself at least one chest per game. Don't stress too much about this, don't go rushing in with a mindset that you're going to get seven in one game, it's just not going to happen. So take your time and you'll get it done before you know it. Challenge number five this week in Battle Pass challenge number two is shoot a clay pigeon at different locations and you need to shoot five total at five different locations. I do not know where all of the locations are, but I do know for sure where one is. I'm showing it to you right now on screen. If you are unaware, Fortnite has just had a new mini game added into it called Skeet Shooting and that is what you're going to be doing to complete this challenge. You or a friend can interact with the launcher and whenever you do you will notice that it shoots a clay pigeon and then you will need to shoot it out of the sky. If you are unfamiliar with skeet shooting it's just that old game that whenever someone yells pull a clay disc is shot out of a launcher and then it's your job to shoot it out of the sky. As soon as I figure out where all of the skeet shooting mini games are located I will be pinning a comment down below showing you guys where to find them all so you can complete this challenge as soon as possible. Challenge number 6 and Battle Pass challenge number 3 is eliminate opponents in Haunted Hills. Usually you would only need 3 eliminations for these challenges, but for some reason this week they upped it to 5, so don't worry about it, it's actually not going to be that hard because Haunted Hills is a very tiny place. What I recommend doing is landing on the outskirts of Haunted Hills, going to either the houses just outside of Haunted Hills to the south, or maybe even going to Junk Junction, or the mountaintop next to Haunted Hills. Get looted up that way and then rush in and pick people off that are still alive. Chances are their health is going to be low and you can clean up and get your eliminations, potentially leading to a good game or even a win. And here we are at the last challenge of this week, challenge number 7 and battle pass challenge number 4, explosive weapon eliminations and you need to get 3 explosive weapon eliminations total. Anything from C4 to grenades to clingers, RPGs, grenade launchers, there's a plethora of explosive weapons you can use in this game and if you go into a limited time mode, you can get this challenge done very very easily. Alright everyone, that sums up the Season 5 Week 3 challenges. If you've stuck it out this long and you're still here, there's a good chance that you participated in this week's secret V-Buck giveaway. So last week in my description of the week 2 challenges, I said, here we go, starting the season off with the giveaway. The secret 1000 V-Buck giveaway question is, what riding is on the side of the minigun in Fortnite Battle Royale? Complete these three steps for your chance to win. 1. Comment your answer. 2. Like this video. And lastly, number 3. Subscribe for your chance to win. And the answer to the secret V-Buck giveaway question is Huska La Vista. A lot of you participated, and I'm super stoked about it. This week's winner is, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, J. 
Jeremy. JXR3MY. My dude, you won the 1000 V-Buck giveaway. Leave a comment down below on this video right now. I won! Exclamation point, And I will get you your V-Bucks as soon as possible. Anyway guys, that's it for today's video. I'm all done here. If you haven't subscribed yet, be sure you do and turn notifications on so you don't miss out on any future videos, including my challenge videos. Pay close attention to all of my videos during them and also be sure to look in the description for your chance to win yourself 1000 V-Bucks in the next secret V-Buck giveaway. I will see you all in the next one. Later. Yeah.